Hi, I'm Ian Call, the Technical Director of the Indoor Air Quality Association, bringing you an IAQA tech tip on measuring particulate matter. If you look at a beam of light, you'll see small particles that might otherwise go unnoticed. You might be surprised to find out that for every one particle you can see in that beam of light, there are more than a million particles that are too small to resolve with your naked eye. Is there a way to enumerate the small particles in the air? Yes, there's two common methods in the field of indoor air quality. The first method measures the mass of particles per volume of air using a device such as a light scattering photometer. These devices will use nozzles or cyclones to limit the size of particles that get enumerated. These devices typically give an output of micrograms per cubic meter. The second common method of measuring particulate matter counts individual particles. These devices are called optical particle counters or laser particle counters. These devices typically have multiple channels so they differentiate and count particles in separate size groups, helping you to identify a potential source. Neither of these methods actually tells you the particle's composition. It might be a grain of pollen or it might be mineral dust from the ground outside the building. Both types of devices can provide a general indication of indoor air quality and the effectiveness of filtration. However, there are no government guidelines for acceptable levels that are useful for indoor environments such as homes, schools, and offices. The EPA has outdoor air quality standards and OSHA has occupational limits, but take care before you apply these numbers to the indoor air of a home, for example. If you'd like to learn more about particulate matter and how to measure it using light scattering photometers and optical particle counters, I recommend you take the class titled Measuring Particulate Matter found in the IAQA University. Visit the IAQA website for more information.